Buenos dias, hello everyone. This is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and this is a video about an awesome new feature inside of Nearpod, the ability to be able to annotate slides, which is something that we've been waiting for and excited about. Uh, it's finally here. Uh, we've used it both on a computer. So for example, I'm using it right now on a MacBook, and that's what you're looking at right here. But I've also went ahead and tested it on an iPad and just make sure that if you're going to use it on the iPad, that you use it in the browser, not inside of the app itself. How does this work? Super simply, on any slide that you actually bring up, and this is a live presentation right now, so this is would be your students would be seeing this, you'll see a tool at the bottom right, which is the little pencil tool. If I click on the pencil tool, it will go ahead and bring up a new menu. So we're clicking it and now we have some different options that you would expect as far as annotation tools. We have a pencil, a uh, highlighter, a text box that you could go ahead and do, and then an eraser tool that you can go ahead and bring up. We have the ability to undo things just like you would expect and then also to be able to trash any types of annotations that you've made or to be able to go ahead and lock any changes that you've made so that none, no more changes can be made to it. So right now, since I'm on a uh, MacBook, it's gonna look really bad because I'm just gonna go to click this orange one, but we basically can circle things you can write. We tested this out uh, both on an active board and on the iPad. Then now testing it on a MacBook Pro works perfectly in all of these situations. Another really cool, interesting thing that has appeared inside of our slides too, by the way, all of these annotations are live for the students to be able to see, is this on the top right, there's this open whiteboard uh, tool now, and basically it leaves, it's a place to be able to go ahead and take some notes, to be able to add some things. You could, you could use the same annotation tools that you would have down here. So for example, I can, I can definitely annotate inside of here. But I was thinking that it would be a great thing to use for as you're teaching a lesson for to do items or reminders or those types of things as you're going through the lesson, kind of like the things that you would have uh, wrote on your actual whiteboard, kind of a, a list, uh, a parking lot list that you would have went ahead and created. Because when you close this, if I go onto a different slide, let's say I wanted to get back to that, you just open up the whiteboard and it's still there. So it's items that are going to kind of be held there um, while you were teaching the lesson, things that you were like, oh yeah, let's go ahead and continue to add here or some, some things, some reminders, etc. cetera. Uh, super cool thing. That's the open whiteboard tool. Any of the uh, slides though themselves can be annotated by just clicking the little pencil. You can click on highlight areas as I'm doing here and then be able to go ahead and use any of the annotation tools that you would want to go ahead and use. Super awesome. It's very, very easy. The only limitations that I've seen so far, you can't use it on the app. So for example, the Nearpod app on the iPad, it doesn't work there. Instead, use a browser and it will work there. If you have any questions, let us know. Adios.